Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Chris Gamer 1025, and tonight we are here for Pure Wrestling. Tonight we are here for the show that unfortunately lost to Brand Warfare, but tonight hopefully they'll make up for that loss by putting on a good show here tonight. We are welcoming everybody here, Gainesville, Georgia, the home of the phenomenal one, live here in Pure Wrestling. And well, tonight you see the card here is going to be R Truth versus Drew Gulak in the opening contest here in tonight's match. Well, right after that, we're going to have Ariel Monroe versus Carmella in a matchup there. Well, that's going to be interesting. R Truth wrestles, and then Carmella is going to wrestle after that. So that's going to be an uh, interesting match to see what's going to happen. Next, we'll have the Women's Wrestling Championship on the line. Io Shirai faced Tony Storm back at King of the Ring. Didn't really get another match after that. So therefore, Tony Storm will have to face Io Shirai for the Women's Wrestling title here tonight. It's going to be quite interesting to see who's going to come out on top, who's going to walk away with that Women's Wrestling Championship. Whoever wins goes to Bash at the Beach with the title. Next, we're gonna have The Miz versus Daniel Bryan here tonight. We haven't seen both these men compete in quite a while. Therefore, they're gonna go at it here in tonight's match. Since they haven't competed in a while, they will compete tonight. They're gonna be in action. Of course, Daniel Bryan has that uh, fake pure wrestling title that he calls the Eco-Friendly Championship. We're gonna see what he does with that tonight. The main event, we want to make tag team support in both brands, so therefore, we're having another Fatal 4-Way Tornado Tag Team match. The winners will, of course, go to Bash at the Beach to fight Chaos for the Federation Tag Team Championships. Will it be the Bullet Club? Will it be LIJ, the B-Team, or Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins? It's going to be an interesting matchup here tonight. I know uh, last time for CJ it worked well. This time we're gonna see how it does for pure wrestling side. So let's simulate through the card right now. As our truth beats Drew Gulak, and now for Carmella. Oh, she unfortunately loses her match against Ariel Monroe. But we have this next match to look forward to. Next woman's match here tonight, and it's for the Women's Wrestling Championship. And here we go, we have Tony Storm, the Women's Wrestling Champion coming through right now. Well, it's odd that the champion comes out first tonight, but we'll disregard that for now. Tony Storm, she's defending her Women's Wrestling Championship against a formidable, formidable opponent. And well, Io Shirai almost became Women's Wrestling Champion at King of the Ring, unfortunately, on the pure wrestling side of the team, I mean, uh, Io Shirai was, I, I believe she was eliminated, it, but even though, oh, there's Tony Storm uh, getting prepared for her matchup, but like I was saying, you know, even though I believed, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe she did get eliminated or not, but with the shadow of a doubt, the pure wrestling woman still won the matchup. Well, tonight she's holding up the title. Will that happen later on? Uh, where's Io Shirai? What's going on here? What? There's Io Shirai? What the? Somebody just threw her onto the ramp. Who the? Oh my god! That's Jessica Havoc! What the hell's going on here? And now she's marching down to the ring to go and fight Tony Storm. Heading down right to the ramp. It looks like she's gonna go head to head and meet this Jessica Havoc. Oh my goodness, she's trying to hurt her with the strikes, but nothing's happening right here tonight. Oh my God, what the hell is this? Oh no, my goodness, right on the ramp. Jessica Havoc taking out Tony Storm, taking out the Women's Wrestling Champion. Oh no, 
Anything but this. Look out, look out. Oh, God. Jackknife power bomb right on the ramp. Somebody stop this. What is going on? Look out. Oh, right on the barricade. And throwing her head everywhere around this, this ramp area here in the arena. Oh, no. Jessica Havoc. She has her where she wants her right here tonight. No, no, please. No, oh God, here comes a choke slam. No, look out. Oh goodness, right down to hell. That's not good, and if, and if that's not enough, oh boy, come on. Don't do this. She wants to put down Tony Storm for good. And I think, oh no, 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 not the tombstone. Tombstone power driver right down Tony Storm. Absolutely devastating here tonight. What, what's going on? Don't tell me. Oh my God, there she is. It's true. She's cashing in. Oh my goodness. It's true. She's here. So young with the briefcase. She's cashing in. The money you make briefcase. Finally, she's doing it. Oh my God, she's raising it up. Rosemary proud of her work. And Jessica Havoc getting some of Rosemary right here tonight. Look out. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. Look out, Jessica Havoc. She's going to position. Oh, my. No. Rosemary. Jeez. Oh, my God. And Rosemary is laid out. And now. No, no. We're going to see another choke slam. Sue Young's loving it. What the hell? Oh, God. That's not good. Jessica Havoc just decimating. Rosemary right here tonight. And no, no, we're gonna see a tombstone on the outside, right to the floor. Rosemary is finished here tonight. Soo Young has to wait till Tony Storm gets up and she's calling her up, Tony Storm. She's now realizing what she faces right now. Tony Storm. Oh no, this isn't good. Tony Storm, look out, no! Tony Storm! And panic switch, the cover. Will this be it? Sue Young's moment, and it is. New women's wrestling champion, Sue Young defeats Tony Storm here at Pure Wrestling. Look at this panic switch, catching Tony Storm off that hellacious attack from Jessica Hammock. You can see the title there in the corner. What a pin! And it is now the Undead Bride here, Sue Young, the new Women's Wrestling Champion with the help of Jessica Havoc. Well, it's now time for a dark era here for the Women's Wrestling Division in Pure Wrestling. Sue Young has captured the gold, and now she might never let it go. What a cash in. Well, whoa, it's Rob Van Dam in his ring gear. What is he going to... What is he, What is he doing here tonight? He's not scheduled for a matchup. What is he going to say? You know, last week, or the week before Bregan writes, I got attacked, and I don't know from who. And I'm here just to find out who attacked me before Bregan writes. I was going to have a matchup today, but unfortunately, you know, I have no opponent because nobody thought I was going to be here. But I am here, and I'm in my ring attire, and I want to say to the attacker, if you have the balls to come out here right now so I can have a match with you, let's do it. If that's what you want, then let's do this right now. With this referee right here, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't mind officiating this matchup. So whoever you are, come out now, face me man to man, so we can have this matchup. Come on. Let's go. I don't care who it is. It could be anybody. I'm going to be waiting for you right here. I'm not going to leave till I see you. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. That's, that's a Velveteen Dream. That's Velveteen Dream. He's the attacker. Oh, no, no. Look out. Oh, plant some with that DDT. Velveteen Dream. You got to be kidding me. Oh, come on. No adding more punishment. Look out. No. Oh, goodness. That purple rainmaker sending Ron Van Dam to his demise. Velveteen Dream has returned. He is back. 
here in Pure Wrestling. But why did he attack Rob Van Dam? Why did he attack him on Pure Wrestling for what? I, I'm not sure, but more on this very soon, ladies and gentlemen. And now, here we go for this match. Tonight looks to be a great night here for The Miz here tonight. I mean, I don't know. It seems like lately he's been trying to embrace the fans a little bit. I'm not too sure, but who knows what The Miz's goal is here in pure wrestling. Who knows what he's trying to accomplish. But all I know is that The Miz has been showing a different side of himself for quite some time here, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's going to... Uh, so well for this man right here, the Miz. Well, we're gonna see how exactly that uh, comes about and how everything happens here. But all we know is that his opponent here tonight is Daniel Bryan, a man whose move said he's, he's stolen for quite some time. I guess tonight's gonna see he's gonna exactly see or feel his own his own medicine here tonight. Miz has been taking care of his uh, of his child and of course soon to be child as well. Let's not forget about that. That's why the Miz hasn't been, uh, I guess you could say, uh, here present every week. But tonight he's here, and tonight he looks to be fighting Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan coming out here with that championship around his waist. I mean. He, like I said, he is not the correct champion here, ladies and gentlemen. He is not the pure wrestling champion. He's carrying around right there an uh, eco-friendly championship, as he likes to call it. But he is not our champion. He considers himself to be champion ever since that backlash incident. But you know what? He should he should forget that. I, I agree with everybody in attendance and everybody commenting down below. He should forget that that has happened, he should forget that because it happened a long time ago, even though he believes he's the champ. It's like, D, Daniel, you can't, uh, can't let that go. Still firmly believes that he is the true pure wrestling champion. We shall see tonight. And here we go, Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. And here we go, The Miz already with the clothesline, sending down Daniel Bryan. And now the Miz, hold on, off the ropes, big D and oh, neckbreaker. Now Daniel Bryan, oh, doing some moves of his own there. Daniel has to get back on the ball here. Look out! Oh, oh, two men trying to go for similar maneuvers. Look out, Daniel Bryan! Cat, oh, he catches the Miz's knee there. Don't want to be in his position. As now the Miz connects with a jawbreaker and running clothesline. Man, almost ran Daniel Bryan over there. Gonna stomp on the arm of Daniel Bryan as the Miz now. Gonna take full control. Gonna go for the cover. Here we go. Cover. One. No. Only a one count from Daniel Bryan. And a big right hand there. Daniel. Oh, running clothesline. Daniel Bryan using that to its full effect there. And. The Miz, not knowing what to do, obviously gets caught in this position. Throwing the shoulder right down onto the canvas. I, like I said, all these things that are happening, I never <laughs> want to feel that, ever. Now look out. Oh, The Miz putting Daniel up top. What's going to happen here? No, Daniel Bryan with the counter. And Daniel now going to go for this. Oh, almost took the whole rope with him too. Oh, the whole top rope. The Miz avoiding getting some space. But obviously, Daniel Bryan. Oh my God, with a big kick to the jaw. And look at this again. Daniel Bryan. Oh my goodness. Down he goes. The Miz is really down and out. He really has to get back on the ball game here. Look out. Look at these yes kicks from Daniel Bryan. And the Miz obviously paying for a lot of time. He's been doing this to other men. 
Daniel Bryan goes for the cover. Here we go. Hook of the leg. He might be knocked out here. The Miz. Oh, he kicks out. The Miz definitely kicks out of that one. And now here we go. Daniel Bryan gonna go for this LaBelle lock there. Daniel Bryan. He has it locked in. The Miz. The Miz. What? Did he? He didn't tap out. Daniel Bryan wanted to let go to do more pressure i think that was his mistake or maybe the miz i think the miz his hand touched the bottom rope there i don't know it wasn't a good camera angle but we can assume that the miz's hand touched the bottom rope because i don't think daniel bryan would let a submission hold like that go especially against someone like the miz miz almost went for a cutter daniel oh no back body drop there by the miz and now The Miz picks up Daniel Bryan. Big kick to the midsection. He's going to go for the patented DDT. DDT right to Daniel Bryan. It looks like he might have just hit him right out the park. No. Daniel is still in this matchup. And so is The Miz. We might see a skull crushing finale right here, right now. Here we go. He's got him. Skull crushing finale right to Daniel Bryan. The cover, hook of the leg. Can he beat Daniel Bryan here tonight? The self-proclaimed champ, no. As Daniel Bryan kicks out. Daniel Bryan kicking out of the skull crushing finale. And now, Daniel hold on off the ropes. The Miz now, oh my goodness, the knee to the gut. Turning him inside out. Whoa, whoa, Daniel Bryan with the reversal. Daniel Bryan, he's got the Northern Light suplex with the pin combination. One, two, no. Almost catching the former Pure Wrestling Champion off guard there. And now, what is Daniel Bryan thinking of doing right now? Uh oh, oh my, gonna go for the, the knee there. Oh my goodness. Gonna lock that in, dead in center. Will the Miz tap out or will he try to get a break? And he does. What a boot to the face that was. Back and forth counter by both men here in this matchup. And The Miz going to pick up Daniel. I don't know where he's going to go. He's going to, oh my, ram his head right into the turnbuckle pad. Right there, the first pad. And The Miz, oh my goodness. Relentless with those attacks there. Focusing on the leg, the knee of Daniel Bryan. Oh, big left hand, The Miz, oh, here we go. A second DDT to finish Daniel Bryan. Oh, Miz, Miz, no. Miz, turn around, turn around, Miz. What the hell is that? What, that's, that's Rowan, Rowan. Oh my God, the match has ended in disqualification. Rowan from APW, what the hell is he doing here? Oh my God, look out, Rowan. Just, oh goodness, taking down The Miz at all costs here tonight. This is absolutely horrible. Please, not anymore. Not any more punishment, come on. Oh, The Miz being thrown out of the ring. What the hell is this all about? And Daniel Bryan coming in the ring, obviously knowing that Eric Rowan's by his side. I told everyone this from day one and you didn't believe me ever since this change of mind of me still being your pure wrestling champion that I would have some backup and none of you believed me therefore you see it now Rowan here is my backup he is a man that I've changed so that way he can join my eco-friendly movement he knows what it's all about and Rowan, my friend, we're gonna go far. Everyone else here in the locker room will perish because why not have this over my shoulder or around my waist? They're gonna know that I am the rightful pure wrestling champion. This is my eco-friendly championship like I've stated before. And none of you, none of you in the back can take it away from me. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Bryan has snapped and Rowan has just joined his side. What's going to happen as this progresses? I don't know, but only time will tell. There's the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, here in his hometown of 
Gainesville, Georgia. Let's see what he has to say tonight. As you all might know, here in my hometown, Gainesville, Georgia, I have been just overwhelmed with everybody's emotion and everybody's just energy towards me. And I would like to say thank you to each and every one of my fans that came here tonight. Gainesville, Georgia will be the Phenomenal One's hometown. But unfortunately, I'm here to say that I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break from this brand because... I see that there's nothing for me here and that really I know I've been losing a lot I've been taking a lot of the pins I've been losing title matches and that's just not me I feel like I've been letting all of you down and I'm not who I say I am anymore I used to call myself the phenomenal one and now I don't even feel like I am because of all these losses that I've been taking so therefore I feel like I need a break I feel like I need to go home and be with my family for a bit and really adjust myself into thinking what I'm going to do. And I hope you all understand. So from here on out, you won't see AJ Styles anymore. And I know that does suck not seeing the face of this brand or your favorite wrestler, whatever you want to call me. But I have to do this for myself. And most importantly, I'm doing it for all of you. So thank you all, and I'll see you when I come back, when I can be your champion. All right. And now AJ Styles, obviously, sad moment here tonight, but unfortunately he wants to take a break, and it seems that, what the, wait a second, that's, that's Switchblade Jay White, what is he doing out here? AJ, look, I, I know what you mean. You want to do it for all these fans out here. You want to be the phenomenal one again. That's why you want to take a break, right? Yeah, that's right. But AJ, what if I told you that you don't have to take a break? What if I told you that there's people that can help you, AJ? What do you mean? AJ, I know you're struggling. I know loss after loss after loss. You're just tired of it. You just don't want to be losing anymore. Trust me, I know the feeling, AJ. I was once on top of the mountain with the nation's title. The Gorillas of Destiny once hold the Federation Tag Team titles. We were on a roll. We were unstoppable until we lost. Now, AJ, this is my offer to you. If you join the Bullet Club, we will make you the new leader of the Bullet Club, and we will reign supreme. Think about it, AJ. You'll be our... What? Let's see. We have Fale, Ishimori, Gorillas of Destiny, myself. You'd be the sixth member of the Bullet Club, AJ. Now, if you're the leader, you have control of all of us. You have the power, AJ. Just like how you had before with the club. Think about it. You could be Pure Wrestling Champion. I could be Nation's Champion again. The Gorillas of Destiny could be Federation Tag Team Champions. Fale and... Taiji Shimori can be our backup. This can be go good for us, AJ. You can be the phenomenal one that these people want you to be. You can be who you want to be, AJ. I'll give you a certain time to make up your mind, but I think this is a good offer, AJ. Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, you don't have to say anything now. You can come back to me when you're ready to make your decision AJ I know that you'll make the right decision I know deep down inside I know who you want to be AJ and trust me trust me when I tell you I can help you go back to where you are and nothing will stop us if we make this move AJ nothing I promise you that well like I said I have to think about it I was planning on taking a break well, don't worry, AJ. My trust in you is a lot. And I hope you trust me. I'll be back. Oh, Jay White obviously offering AJ Styles the leadership of the Bullet Club. And I don't even know what to say. AJ doesn't even know what to say. He said he's going to think about it. Jay White just made a great offer. I don't know 
Is AJ Styles really going to take this offer with the Bullet Club? And now, here we go for the main event for tonight. It is the huge four, men, four tag teams fighting against each other. It'll be a huge tornado tag team match here between all teams. Eight men going to be inside the ring for this one. The winner goes to Batch of the Beach to fight for those titles. Chaos better be ready for any team that meets them. Including these two men here tonight, Evil and Sonata. Representing LIJ, Los Igonobles de Japón, they're here tonight. And well, as you can see, they're here to represent. These men do not play around as you see. LIJ, a big faction that you see here and well, only a three-man faction, but a huge faction that you see here in in a uh, pure wrestling. The tag teams here in pure wrestling are pretty stacked and I cannot wait just to see how good or how better it's gonna get. How much better, I should say. And I put my grammars everywhere tonight, but let's just see here. Evil and Sonata have a big chance to become Federation Tag Team Champions if they win tonight and if they go to Fashion the Beach to beat Chaos. I mean, that's a huge opportunity that they have, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, they are staring into the crowd, knowing what's at stake. We haven't seen much from Sonata and Evil, but you know what? In tonight's main event, I feel like we're going to see a lot from them here tonight. Here we go, the next team to enter the matchup. We're going to check it out here tonight. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the B team. The B team out here tonight. Obviously, to uh, be, hopefully, be the next champions. I mean, they haven't had that much opportunity here in Universe Mode this season. It looks like it might be their night. Who knows? I mean, these two men wearing some sort of these two jackets, I guess, to uh, pay tribute to, you know, who. You know, I mean, they, they were, you know, a part of the Miz Taraj before. I mean, what better way to pay tribute for tonight for the Miz than to wear some old gear? I mean, why not? Hey, I'd see it as that was their mentor, and now the Miz has moved on, and they have moved on. But, you know, since the Miz is embracing the fans and so are they, why not just pay tribute to him here tonight? That makes perfect sense to me. But the next team coming out is kind of dangerous here tonight. You have to watch out for them. They are a former Federation Tag Team Champions. They are a big faction here in pure wrestling. They look to get even bigger. And ladies and gentlemen, this is not a team to play around with, like I've been saying. They know exactly what to do at the right moment when they strike. Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. The Gorillas of Destiny out here, obviously coming down the ramp, wearing those huge attires to really try to focus and take down all the teams in tonight's matchup. you can say that you know we might see a huge collision course if uh, Bullet Club were to win 
Obviously, if Bullet Club were to win, then we see Bullet Club versus Chaos again at Bash of the Beach. That's going to be quite a matchup to witness, ladies and gentlemen. But we shall see. We shall find out if indeed that's going to happen. As these two are set for action, we're waiting one more team in the match. And they are the newly reunited team of Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Many didn't believe them when they said they'd come together again. But yet again, here they are. Ryder and Hawkins going together for, I guess, maybe one last run. Who knows? These men were a pivotal team in the beginning of season one. And now, well, tonight, reuniting after three seasons, putting their differences aside, having Ryder, you know, I mean, having Hawkins finally get a win, it was just incredible to behold. And I mean, the relationship between these two are just amazing as well. I mean, you, you have to give it to these two men to put things aside and fight again. Well, here we go. All these men are in the ring, and we're going to get this matchup started, similar to how CJM's matchup started. Oh, my God. Huge action. I see a big boot, a spear, clothesline to the outside. I see many. Oh, my. Super kick to the back of the head to Sonata. Man, that's got to be killing him right there. And, well, here we go. Look out. Oh, oh evil with the overhead there. And I mean, very much so. Oh, two super kicks to the outside to Sonata. And Tungaloa taking down Bo Dallas there on the outside. A German suplex on the outside there. And Hawkins taking down Evil. As you can see, oh, big right hand there, no. Hawkins is still uh, beating down Evil, but Ryder is still getting punished by Curtis Axel. Big power bomb there to Sonata. And the other two men on the outside, the only two men on the outside there is Bo Dallas and Tugaloa. As, uh, Curtis Axel shouldn't be taking much time to talk there. That's not too good. Hold on. Oh, big clothesline. And oh, Sonata, German suplex to Tunga. Tunga. Tamatonga, oops, sorry, he almost butchered the name there. As Zack Ryder has to come in and help, for he's, he's trying to take care of the B team alone out there. Sonata drops down Tamatonga. Big clothesline to Evil right there. And oh no, look out, look out, he's gonna throw him into the LED. No, no. Oh, big reversal by Curtis Axel. And Axel now reversing everything he's got. And now, I will shoot to the turnbuckle. Oh, oh my God, Tomatunga missed a big splash. Everybody's on the outside except Sonata and Tomatunga here tonight. That's going to be quite challenging, quite challenging of a task to have somebody being pinned and everyone's on the outside. Look at this, Sonata tying up Tomatunga in like a ball there. What the, hold on, suplex to Bo Dallas. Oh my God. The amount of punishment that's being inflicted in tonight's match, it's incredible. Look out, DDT right to Hawkins. And uh, oh my, oh my goodness, and not a huge moonsault. And now, Curtis Axel, uh oh, German suplex right to Zack Ryder. And look at, hold on, oh, Bo Dallas interrupting the finisher for Evil as he suplexes him right down to the ground. And Sonata gets thrown to the outside. Oh God, wait a second, Tungaloa, he's gonna suplex Bo Dallas on the outside. This is a good look out here, ladies and gentlemen. Look out, oh my God. Down goes both men on the outside. And now, oh, missile draw, oh my, Zack Ryder accidentally hit Hawkins. He accidentally hit Hawkins, oh no. That's not good at all. And now, uh-oh, look out. Oh my, a lot of these men, oh, well, what the hell? Wait, Sonata, what are you doing? Coast to coast, tree of woe? No way in hell, oh my God. Jeez, taking care of, talk about taking care of your opponent. 
And now, look out. And oh, oh, oh my god, the referee is down. I mean, we saw this on CJM. Referee always got down and out. And now, hold on. Oh, wait, a lot of men are just scattered around the ring here tonight. And oh my, Sonata trying to go for a big impactful maneuver. And now, hold on, Irish whip there. And I think this match is starting to take a toll on everybody here tonight. As uh, mostly everyone's in the ring right now. Never mind Zack Ryder. Good throw to the outside. Look out here. Oh my goodness. Down he goes. Down goes Sonata. And look, Paul Dallas with the finisher right to Evil. Right there. Will he cover him? Will he pin him here tonight? I think he's going to put him more to the center of the ring. I don't know how that's going to work out. The cover, cover the leg, but no. Tonga Loa breaks it up. Now Bo Dallas. Oh, gets kicked right in the midsection. Bill Hawkins, neck. No, oh my God. Taking down Tama Tonga. The cover to Tama Tonga. Will it be it? Will it be else you wrote? Sonata coming in for the save. I mean, if you don't come in for the save, you lose. That's it. So Sonata has to be very careful. Every man has to be careful. Oh my own oh, DDT spiked him on his head. Out goes Bo Dallas. And Kurt Hawkins, oh my, oh my goodness. Zack Ryder, Rip Ryder to Curtis Axel. A spear right to Sonata. Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins clearing house in there. And now, is it going to pick up Tamatunga? Oh no, Tamatunga counters. Oh, clothesline there. Oh, drop kick to Evil right on the LED. And now, hold on. Hold on, look out, look out. Ryder going to go for it. No. Suplex right to Ryder. Hold on. Hawkins is up top. Hawkins is... Hold. Oh my, almost went for the huge elbow drop. And now breaking apart the submission hold from Tungaloa. And now Tungaloa, he's going to go finish off Curtis Axel. Oh, oh my goodness, oh, Tungaloa throws him out of the ring. Oh, Zack Ryder, Zack Ryder throwing Tungaloa on the outside. Down he goes. Now focus is back on Sonata. Hold on, whoa, Dragon Sleeper, Dragon Sleeper by Sonata. Dragon Sleeper. Wait a second, Gunstun at the same time as a submission of the Dragon Sleeper. The ref is looking at both men. He can, he taps at the same time the, the, the pin was made. Who, who's, who won here? What? Zack Ryder tapped out. So who wins here? I don't understand. Looks like LIJ got the victory there, but it looks like the Bullet Club has got the victory as well. What's going on here? Well, the decision has to be made, ladies and gentlemen. What's going to happen? I don't know, but it seems like Bullet Club think they've won, and so does LIJ, Sonata, and Tamatunga coming face to face. As general manager, Kurt Angle, he's out here to, I guess, solve this situation going on. Uh, well, as I see it, it looks like Tamatunga and Sonata got the pin and submission at the same time. And well, the ref had no choice but to ring the bell due to the decision that was made. Well, I'm just here letting you know to solve this controversy and to also make things exciting. At Batch at the Beach, Chaos will defend their Federation Tag Team Championships against LIJ and against the Bullet Club. It will be a triple threat tag team ladder match at Bash at the Beach for the Federation Tag Team Championships. So, gentlemen, I hope you're ready because I know Chaos will be. And Chaos will be in that ring at Bash at the Beach. You have to climb the ladder to get the titles and to be champions. So, 
I suggest you both teams get ready because at Bash of the Beach, it is going to be quite a challenge. Oh my god, a triple threat tag team ladder match for the Federation Tag Titles at Bash of the Beach. I know I want to see that match. The show is not over till the champ comes out. What? Pac, what are you doing here? You, you lost to Pete Dunne at Bragging Rights. Why is he here? What is he talking about? Listen, all of you fans, or supposed fans, you all are a bunch of liars. You all are a bunch of phony, fake people. You supported Pete Dunne instead of your pure wrestling champion, Pac. How dare all of you support Pete Dunne. Now, yes, Pete Dunne did beat me at bragging rights. But that doesn't mean he's the better man. That doesn't mean he's the better champion. I am still your pure wrestling champion. And he cannot, he couldn't have not taken away from me. Now, why am I out here? I'm out here to tell you people how selfish you all are being and how ignorant all of you are. Because I am the champion, not Pete Dunne. I'm the face of this brand, not Pete Dunne. You can leave the, the C brand, okay, over there, all right? Or let's call it the B plus, but not even B minus brand over there. Because they cannot carry a show anymore. I can. So I am the true champion here. I've been carrying this company on my back ever since I won the Money in the Bank briefcase. Hell, ever since I returned, I've been carrying this company on my back. And none of you can say a damn thing. At Bash of the Beach, I have no opponent because there's nobody for me to face. There's nobody here that is worthy for the king of pure wrestling. Nobody here is ready to face the bastard here. Now, since I have no opponent, I will be taking a small little break at Batch of the Beach. I won't be competing. I will be sitting down, laying down, catching a tan in the sun, you know? I'll be relaxing and watching. Nah, I'll probably not even watch Batch of the Beach. I'll just be laying around with my championship that's still around my waist. So, Kurt Angle, good luck finding an opponent because I've beaten everybody in the back and I've beaten everybody even in other brands as well. So you cannot try me. I have taken out everybody and there's nobody left. So, with that being said, I'll be taking that vacation now. I'll see all of you after Bash the Beach when there's maybe going to be competition. Well, P Pac is going to leave out of here right now. What? Are you kidding me? A vacation? Ah, uh, Pac, look up at the Titan Tron. It says next week I'm coming for you. Who the? Who's that? What? Pac, I, I think we found ourselves a challenger. Who the hell is this? Well, ladies and gentlemen... We have to wait till next week. If you like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends. I'll see you for CJM and Pure Wrestling.